Hello YouTube and welcome back to the Homebrew Hobby channel. My name is Tim and um, I'm just a homebrew guy. I like to brew beer at home and I suddenly realized today that I had a flight paddle, which if you're not 100% sure what that is, is it's a, a flight can be uh, three shot glasses, four, six, eight, twelve, etc. And it's just, you know, I don't know, like four ounce glasses, and it allows you the opportunity to taste in small amounts various beers. And it occurred to me that I had four kegs on tap and I have a flight uh, paddle downstairs. So let's go get some beer. Okay, so we're back and we've got our paddle. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Look at that. So now mind you, it's been a few minutes uh, back and forth running around, moving the camera around. So all of my beers have lost uh, a little bit of head. Um, but you know what? I'm okay with that because, you know, I know they taste good. So I'm going to start first with uh, the stout. This is the Jamil um, stout recipe. Uh, I'll see if I can link to it below, but this one always turns out nice. It's a milk stout and I have my etched glasses, which you will see in one second from our uh, local homebrew club. So um, let's give that a try. Now, just I kegged the, I brewed these in October, September, October. And uh, this one's been on keg since uh, maybe well, on tap since about February, maybe. So about six weeks, given it started to get nice out, not drinking it as much, but. Yeah, you can still, it's still all there. And I like my stouts like uh, in softer in carbonation, so. Voila. There's a lot of caramel, maybe some espresso. Yeah, very nice. Okay, I'm gonna scoot over to the other end of the paddle because this is a triple pearl IPA uh, the Triple Pearl Smash. Uh, I Now, I did not make this one. I'm assuming it's Maris Otter. Uh, it's a buddy of mine who um, could not go through them quick enough. He does 15 gallons at a time, so he needed to offload one, so we did a trade. Yeah. 
Yeah. Now I thought that was an interesting experiment because I have some triple pearl downstairs. Um, if you're curious, go look at the card. Uh, you can look at my hops collection. Um, and I do have some triple pearl, but I haven't opened it yet. So this gives me an idea. Triple Pearl, Maris Otter, US05, boom. Very simple. Um, if I remember, the stout comes in at around uh, four and a half to five. This one I think was six and a half. Um, okay, this is my Raging Red. Beautiful color. I love this beer. Love this beer. Uh, take a look at the card. You'll see me kegging it and tapping. Two different videos. Um, I love this beer. Still smells very... Um, smells like candy, for lack of better... It smells like Belgian uh, candy syrup which I did not use. I didn't put any brown sugar. I didn't put any uh, white sugar. This is just all, uh, let me see the SO4, SO4, yeah. Mmm. Oh, it's even better than it was like two weeks ago when I kegged it. Mmm. The candy flavor is really coming through. Mm. I've never gone through a flight so quickly. <laughs> I hope you're entertained. Mm. That. Is pretty. Mm. For the last one, I have my Belgian wit. I call this like a, a Hoogarden um, clone. I'd have to have a Hoogarden next to me just to see how close I get the color because it's very, 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 very hazy. But I'm assuming that's because I keep them, I keep my Belgians really well carved. Um, my wife actually thinks I'm, you know, it's too much. But I like I like a Belgian that tickles the back of the throat when it goes down, and the orange is really coming through. Yeah, you can smell the orange, and obviously you can see the orange. Um, I use the um, the bitter orange peel that you can purchase in the the uh, in bags from the LHBS local home brew store. Um, and the coriander comes through at the back as it's going down. So it's like the, I find the bite in the back of the throat brings the coriander out. Right, enough talking. Yeah, the coriander just comes out at the back. I like that. Let's see if I can get a little bit of head back on there. Yum. I'm going to have to go for another. Well, I might not go for a run after this, but I should have gone this morning. <laughs> so I destroyed that flight in probably like two minutes, maybe less. This is what it looks like now. Um, I just thought that would be fun to do. I've uh, I've never used this paddle. I've had this paddle... Thank you, Steve. Um, I've had this paddle for probably going on two years now and uh, never used it yet. So there you go. That was just fun. That was just fun. I hope you had fun because it was fun for me. Um, there you go. I said that. Do me a favor. If you're enjoying what you're seeing, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know that people are actually watching because um, otherwise I'm doing all this for nothing. 
Um, and if you have a flight uh, paddle at home, do this, do it, give it a try and let me know what you think. Use the uh, comments below and I will try and link to each of these recipes um, on probably on Homebrew Talk or on my Beersmith profile. Uh, they will be linked in the description below. So um, there you go. Until next time, happy brewing and I will see you later.